Here's a rather semi-scarce, of some would say rare pistol. The Smith & Wesson 44 Special with a uh, three inch barrel. What model number is this? It's the 696 No Dash. 696 No Dash, which means it still uh, has a forged hammer and trigger. Hammer mounted firing pin and it doesn't have the lawyer lock. You know, it's the uh, Steve's first shot through it for a while. Yep, this was my dad's. I bought it back from somebody that it got sold to. I haven't seen it for 15 years, so we'll see how it goes. Time to quit. Yep. Well, I got a little high there with some of them, but... i put five more through it. Yeah, I guess I threw one. We'll try both hands. <laughs> Just a neat finish, Smith & Wesson. Remember when they uh, first came out with these, they couldn't give them away. And as soon as they stopped making them, everybody wants them all of a sudden. Well, I was with my dad when he bought this at a gun show in Maryville, Indiana. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a handful. But, you definitely wake him up. We got some specialty ammo for it. Got some buffalo bore. Anti personnel 44 special, and we got some uh, Lee, some Underwood 44 special extreme defender. So, I'm not gonna shoot a lot of these because they're like $50 a box, but I'll shoot two. <laughs> yeah. Might be a little bit hotter. And we'll shoot two of this Buffalo Bore anti personnel. These are uh. 200 grade wad cutters. Hard cast wad cutters. This is the good stuff. So we'll put a few through it. This is definitely going to be a more it's gonna be a little more recoil. That doesn't seem too bad. Well, <laughs> it's not like a 44 Magnum, but no, it's not a 44 Magnum. It's but stout. It's stout, but in a self-defense situation, you'll never feel it anyway. Uh. <laughs>